Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot doing your January love reading. Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. If the messages fit, great. If not, don't force it. May not be your month. So let's see what the energies are going forward for Virgo for love. January 2018. Now I am sending this, uploading this video mid-December, so this energy could start now all through um, January, okay? Um, so hold on a second here. I know the videos are a little bit short, but I'm just like holiday festive, trying to get ready for the holidays, so please bear with me. Okay. You have the Three of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles fell out. Queen of Cups, she's all over the place. You've got the Emperor in the past. You have Judgment. You have the Seven of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune. You have the Knight of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Outcome, Page of Swords, and the three of pentacles. Okay, past position, you were dealing with someone, could have been an Aries, or someone who just came across as like kind of powerful authority figure, someone who was like, you know, not someone, someone with very little words, okay, but they sat upon their throne, kind of like in a hierarchy or something, you know. You know, the emperor is usually a good, a good person. When they're reversed, they can be narcissistic. Um, but this person may have some of those traits, may just have ego things going on, but they were significant in your life in the past. Let me just clarify. Okay. Pretty positive person, you know, pretty positive. Always in a happy place, you know, just had a good disposition about them and offered you love, offering, offered their cup, whatever was in that cup, you know, knights are in and out. So they're not like, um, knights don't stick. They don't stick around. They just, they're always offering their love. So currently though, I see you Virgo, you're like in party mode, you're dating, you're getting offers from people. And if you're not, it's because you're not out and you need to get your ass out there. Um, but I see you like having fun. You're hanging with your girls. You're being festive. You're hanging with your guy friends. Um, you know, whatever, you're having a good time, you've got dates coming in, you've got offers coming in, but you know, you're picky, so um, that's why that Ace of Pentacles is in the challenge position, but it's a benefit for you to, you know, for some reason, keep that going on, you know, I don't see you, I don't see you like, not, I think that like this person was really interested in you, but I don't feel like you were committed to them, really, you know what I mean? I don't know why. I don't know what's going on. I think you just are out having fun or you're just wanting to date and just, you know, have a good time. Um, I feel like I skipped the cancer reading. Did I? I can't remember. I got to look. So this fell out. Okay. So whoever you were dealing with, so somebody could be dealing with um, Aries. It could have been a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Scorpio or Pisces. Um, so whatever the situation, like... I feel like maybe, Virgo, you were a little bit possessive of your heart, protective of your heart with this person for some reason. I don't know why. Um, you definitely wanted to accept their cup, and you probably have. And, and definitely, like currently where you are right now, you want new love, Ace of Cups. There are There is much potential out there for you, um, but you're staying a little guarded right now okay or this person is but this is generally you so you're a little guarded with your heart um but we've got two aces here so are not two aces two cups two major big cups so this is definitely what you're looking for but i also feel like you want reconciliation with someone and you want to come out into the open as well you want to be truthful and just like be yourself like i feel like you've been hiding for a while to some degree in some way for, for some reason um, <laughs> King of Cups here. So I feel like you want reconciliation with this person or they want that with you. And um, they're definitely on your mind. You may want this person to open up more to you or to open up and tell you the truth or you want to open up to them or you're looking for someone who um, is like that, like that type of a personality, someone that's got their cup they have their love that, you know, they're very um, a passionate person, but not clingy or anything like that. But I see in the near future, 
there's definitely, you have a lot on your plate and you have a lot of options coming up in the near future and you're going to have to make a decision about something, uh, about love, about who you want. I think you want the one that you don't, that is the most mysterious. This could be a king of pentacles as well. King or queen, okay, earth sign. Um, but also you could just be having to make some decisions but still focus very much on your money and that and your work and things like that and that may be why you're kind of like you know being a little bit protective you know um, just being picky but I do feel like there is going to be like a, a king or queen of pentacles earth sign another Virgo Taurus or Capricorn that comes forward for you um, as someone that has somewhat some kind of a mystery to you this person has trouble committing as well but there will be communication with them whatever's going on in your life right now it's favorable whatever you're going through right now is exactly where you need to be exactly where you should be okay you've got the world here these both of these cards are very similar there's a lot of change happening you are it's definitely favorable for you to close the book on something from your past, whatever that may be, to end the chapter. You also could be writing a book, so really important, or doing some writing. So there, there could be money coming in for that, or lots of potential. So you also, you may need to close the book on a Scorpio from your past, um, or there may be an opportunity to... Uh, see this person there could be travel you may want to go see them or they see you I do see something coming in from s whoever your person is some type of offer for a date something substantial um, this person has a little bit disconnected they're not really communicating too much they are still in decision mode they're deciding about whether to reach out to you or make some type of an offer yeah definitely here and you've got this person has the nine of pentacle or nine of wands so th this is a wounded warrior i feel like this person does want to reach out to you again you want love you want this person to definitely send messages or send a message to you there will be communication at the outset of this um month where there will be truthful communication about trying to make something work because neither one of you can let this go um, and i feel like that's why there's an issue with committing to other people Okay, major change happening with the tower, a huge shift and healing from a broken heart. So Virgo, I think it's really good. Let me just pull a card from the Romance Angels deck to see what the love message is coming in for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have the same as Leo. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So yeah, just stay open. Don't put anything, no expectations. Don't put anything, nothing written in stone. Just see how things go. All right, guys. So I will see you guys in February. Have a happy new year. Bye.